honor your energetic flow. In almost the 20 years of doing healing session work and working with people and helping them to restore harmony to their body, mind, and spirit, I can tell you that like 99.9% .9 of everybody I've ever done a session with over those years has in one way, shape, form, or another not honored the different aspects of the flow of their energy. We live in a polarity universe, man. There's up and down, there's high and low, there's positive and negative, new moon, full moon, all of these aspects, breathing in and out, up and down, these are all telltale signs of how it is that we can transform our lives, shift our energy, and therefore start shifting our broadcast to this field, to this matrix around us in which we imprint every day. And if you want to start recreating your experience, if you want to open up to a more successful and fulfilling life, if you want to create for yourself more vibrant health and well-being, or maybe perhaps deepen your relationships um, with a significant other or even open to more prosperity, you're going to have to learn how to not only honor, but optimize the flow of your own personal energy. And it's interesting because I was just looking at an image, I think it's called a torsion field, where this energy comes in through the top and then it comes out the bottom. And it's such a great analogy because it makes sense because we want to be able to release and let go. We want to be able to cry our tears, feel our emotions, however they might be, and to process them and to release them. On the same aspect though, we want to also bring in what it is that we desire to experience, how it is that we wish to be, how it is we would feel living as if our life was the way that it was. So there's these two aspects of flow and we really need to be able to honor both. As I mentioned earlier, in all these years in doing this healing session work, I have found that most people have a hard time releasing and dissipating. In other words, breathing out. They have a hard time feeling sadness or anger or frustration. I was just recently at an event where one of the people was talking about, you know, where somebody had shared that they cried. And he's like, what, you cried? Like, here's a person who's never allowed themselves to cry. And then they wonder why their physical health and well-being was in a state of disharmony. You can't hold that stuff in. It doesn't go anywhere. It's reverberating within you 24-7. How long are you going to be able to go through life not exhaling? Not very long. So that's usually the area where I find that people have a hard time feeling their sadness, anger, frustration. And, you know, who can blame us all, right? That stuff doesn't, feel, you know, quote, feel good, right? But then on the other hand, what I've noticed recently is that a lot of people have a hard time breathing in, breathing in compassion, breathing in self-love, breathing in appreciation for themselves and their journey through life. If we really want to optimize our energy and if we really want to start imprinting the matrix to recreate our experience, we need to change our resonance, our broadcast, our vibration. And in order to be able to do that, you must breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. You know, I've been helping people for years let go of old beliefs, limiting beliefs, unresolved traumas by literally breathing out discordant, lower density energy, and thereby releasing and dissipating the beliefs within their field that are shaping their experience. But on the other hand, another very challenging area could be to love ourselves more, to appreciate ourselves more. We love to beat ourselves up. We love to be so critical of who and what we are. Damn it, you should be perfect. What if we were to expand our definition of perfection to include the stumbles and the falls and the learning lessons and experiences in our lives? Something magical would open up for us all. So my question for you today in this video is, 
Where are you stopping the flow of your energy? Are you allowing yourself to feel your sadness, anger, frustration, and to literally breathe it out and let it go? Are you allowing yourself to feel self-love, appreciation, gratitude, maybe even sprinkle a little compassion on there? And if you've noticed an area where you're not allowing yourself to release or to bring into your experience, how could you change that? How could you open up that flow? and thereby begin to transform your energy, your frequency, your resonance, and what it is that you're imprinting to the matrix around you. And by doing so, open the door to begin to start imprinting what it is that you would most love to create in your experience. In order to enhance that overall process, you must learn how to allow this flow of energy outside of you and inside of you, in, out, breathe in, breathe out, breath. You think about all the billions of people on this earth. They might have different political affiliations, different colored skin, different sexual orientation, all that stuff. What is it that we all do? We all breathe. That metaphor, that analogy is the doorway to how you master your own personal energy, your frequency, your broadcast, your music, so that you can begin to become the composer, conscious composer of your life and recreate your experience. Let's take some deep breaths and let's enhance the flow of your energy. But in order to do so, got to set the intention to make it so. And I'm going to make it a dual intention to let go of what's no longer serving you, what limiting thought, what limiting belief are you holding on to? And also set the intention to bring in some more love, some more compassion, some more appreciation for who and what you are. Breathe. Life is all about polarities, ups and downs, high and lows, high tide, low tide, new moon, full moon, positive, negative, breathing in, breathing out. Life is all about your energy. Change your energy, you change your experience. You want to revitalize your health, shift your energy. You want to open to more prosperity, shift your energy. You want to deepen your loving relationship in your life, yes, shift your energy. See, you're getting it now, right? That's the key. It's not about forcing and doing and making things happen. It's about realizing that your state of being is so much more powerful than your state of doing. But when you create a harmony between the two, something amazing and something miraculous can open up. And even there is another example of these two essence, these two parts of flow, being, doing. It's not all about doing. 
You know, I was all about doing in my corporate days, all about working hard and doing all those things to make, be successful and to make money and all that good stuff. If anything I've learned, boy, you create the beingness and the doingness and miracles can unfold. You can imprint the most magical things into the matrix and begin to change what this amazing mirror called life, what it mirrors back to you. And that's where we open up to a whole nother level of empowerment. So, hey, if you're open to optimizing your energy, tuning the strings of your life experience and shining your light at a brighter and more powerful level, make sure you hit that subscribe button as I will be releasing, continuing to release content, conversations, going to be starting to do some lives out there as an opportunity for you to tune your strings so that you can bring your beautiful music, your authentic self, your purpose, your callings out to a higher level. So yes, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to download a free track of harmonizing music to help optimize your energy, make sure you go to markhamroemusic.com forward slash gift, markhamroemusic.com forward slash gift, download the journey. Uh, it's a great piece to support you on your journey, the journey through your life. Take care. Have a harmonious day.